In Creo Schematics, once you have your wiring diagrams created and all your different properties assigned, you're ready to export an XML file that can be read into Creo Parametric for cabling harness design using logical referencing. To export the XML file, you'll go to the File menu and then choose Export and XML. In the Export to XML dialog box, first we'll click the File Selector button to choose what we want to export, and I'll give it a name. Let me, maybe this is my vehicle harness. A lot of times I like to use the date so I can keep track of when it was created. Now I'll click the Open button, and there we have the file name specified. For the target application, the default is General, but since I'm going to the cabling application in Creo Parametric, I'll select that radio button. Here for what to export, we have four different choices, and I usually use the whole design option. Alternatively, you could use current sheet, or you could choose to export just what you have selected, or you could use report results. I am not a big fan of the report tool in Creo Schematics, so I don't use that. A lot of times I want to export stuff from multiple sheets, so selection doesn't work for me. For the same reason, current sheet does not either. So usually I will export the whole design, even though I might have multiple block diagrams, circuit diagrams, wiring diagrams, maybe even PNID diagrams in here as well. And to control what I'm reading into a particular harness assembly in Creo, Parame Creo Parametric, I make heavy use of layers in Creo Schematics, which work a bit differently than layers in Creo Parametric. Then we have some validate options over here, so you can check to see if you have duplicate reference designator names. You could choose to ignore warnings in the report, and here is a validate XML file that'll do some checking for you. But I'm just going to click the OK button, and here in the message area we can see that the export to XML is complete. So now I'm ready to go over to Creo Parametric and then import this into a cable harness assembly. I hope you enjoyed this video. For more information, please visit www.creowindchill.com. If you learned something from this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like this video, please click the subscribe button to be informed when new videos are uploaded. Thank you very much.